What's going on, everybody? Maxwell Q here. Welcome back to How To Tuesdays. So, today, there's a little something different going on. I don't have the camera, um, the screen recording going, so you guys can watch me while uh, I work on whatever I'm showing you. Um, reason being is it's not because my camera is broken. Um, it's honestly because the studio is a, studio is a complete mess right now. And I don't feel like cleaning it, and I really don't feel like showing you guys how bad it is in here either. So, um, we're going to do without the camera today. But um, I have this really cool trick for you guys. Um, in case, you know, your 808s and your kicks aren't meshing well together. Um, now, you know, obviously sometimes the kick and the 808 just don't work. Um, but... The other reason might be because of polar phase. Now, um, as a lot of you may already know, um, all samples have their own waveform. So some of them go up, down, up, down, up, and others do the opposite, which is down, up, down, up, down. Now, for kicks in 808s, for them to mesh well perfectly, they need to be... Um, one needs to be up, down, up, down, up, down, and the other needs to be down, up, down, up, down, up. So when they line up together and they hit at the same time, they're not fighting for room um, within the frequency spectrum because a lot of them, you know, have the same frequencies. So in order to, you know, flip per se, the um, sample so that it meshes well together. Um, I found a little trick for you guys. Um, so, I mean, you could go around and look for another sample, but what if your heart is set on a sample and you want to, um, you know, you want to use these two samples together? So, I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Um, I already semi mixed my kick in 808 but I'm going to show you guys a little trick right now on how to flip your samples so I found this really cool plugin the other day um, it is made by Jiggery Pokery and um it's called the Itsy Audio Phase in, uh, Inverter. So, now it has all these knobs over here, but I don't even touch those. I just focus on this flip uh, toggle switch right here. Um, and what you could do is you could have it either go left to right or right to left, which, you know, is basically the le up, down, up, down, up, or the down, up, down, up, down. So, all you got to do is in your signal chain um make sure that this it's the audio phase inverter is or whatever audio phase inverter that you may use uh you want to make sure that obviously it's the first thing in the channel strip so when the kick comes through it automatically first thing it's reading is to flip the sample um the next thing that you know you could do from there is then you could start um you could start EQing, you could start compressing, you could start doing, um, you know, whatever it is. So, um, the kick I'm going to leave right now on left, right. And then the 808, I'm going to put on, I'm actually going to do it like this. Um... You know, like we said, we want it to be at the top of the signal chain. And then um, all you got to do is just adjust your wires, um, your in and outs, to make sure that they are the, it's within the signal flow that you want. So you're putting your 808 into the Etsy or the Itsy. Then you're bringing it out in, and then into your EQ. And then so on and so forth. So out, and you want it to go to this screen four, which is acting as my compressor um, slash distortion. 
and then from that it's going yep perfect into my limiter so left into right then from here it's going from the out of here back into the instrument all right so now that we have it all patched correctly um the next thing you're going to want to do is just take this itsy audio phase inverter and make sure that it's on right left it is the complete opposite of what the kick is um so when it the 808 comes reading in the first thing it reads is this itsy audio phase and it says oh that's right we need to flip this to a right left before we do anything else and then you know then it goes down the line however you want it set up so that is basically <laughs> all that um you know i really want to show you guys today um i thought it was something that uh a lot of you can you know take back and use for yourself um and yeah um so yeah very sh short quick uh how to tuesday today but i thought this is something that uh a lot of you might uh use um uh, or need to use at some point within your uh, production career. Um, but that's all we really have time for today. So I will catch you guys next time on How To Tuesday. Um, if you have not su subscribed yet, uh, please do so. Uh, the, you know, obviously the more people we get subscribed to this channel, the more people, uh, the more things I'm going to be able to bring you guys. Um, I know that I've been slacking a little bit on getting um, the Make a Beat Mondays together and the Fuego Fridays together and even the, um, oh, and the vlogs. So, but a lot of things have happened recently and I've had to make a little bit of changes and adjustments, but I'm hoping to have everything up and running as soon as possible. Um, you know, it's so hard to get so many things done throughout a day when you're only a one person uh team but very soon that's going to change um but anyway yeah so if you like this content and you like this video and helped you guys out please give it a thumbs up you don't know what that does to me does for me and for this channel um and yeah i will catch you guys next time on how to tuesday